Another little tidbit, Tim, of uh, American presidential politics. What, you mean the Newt or the Romney? The, no, the, uh, the imposter in the pink house. Uh, oh. He, he flew on Air Force One. The guy flies all over the place. He's flown more than any other president. Uh, he flew to Arizona today, and Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, who signed that law, which cracked down on illegal immigrants coming across the border in her state, which Obama doesn't like at all. He, he's in favor of illegal immigrants. No, because he's an illegal immigrant himself. That's, that's exactly it. Uh, here's the story from MSNBC. Arizona Governor Jan Brewer and President, can hardly say his name, you know who he is, engaged in an apparently tense exchange on an airport runway shortly after Air Force One touched down outside Phoenix today on Wednesday. The two leaders could be seen talking intently at the base of Air Force One's steps. Both could be seen smiling but speaking at the same time. Obama then appeared to walk away from the Republican governor while they were still talking. This according to the White House press pool reporter. Brewer, the governor, confirmed that by saying she hadn't finished speaking. Asked moments later what the conversation was about, Brewer said he was a little disturbed about my book. On a Phoenix radio talk show after their meeting, Brewer said Obama was tense. Brewer, of course, has recently published a book which has caused a lot of uproar called Scorpions for Breakfast, something of a memoir of her years growing up in which she defends Arizona's controversial law cracking down on illegal immigrants, which Obama, as I mentioned, opposes. I'm going to put the story up in a few minutes. There's but anyway, the real masters in America, of course, are the um, uh, all from um, J.P. Morgan Chase and the rest of them. I agreed. All right. Now, back to Iran and so forth. Uh, the U.S. is sending its oldest aircraft carrier, which has actually been around since 1962 in the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's the oldest serving ship of the Navy. It would be the perfect false flag target to be sent to the bottom. They're going to retire it next year anyhow. So you never know. No, as I say, it's, it's a must-do if we're going to have the Albert Pike World War Three between... Um the Zionist Jews and uh, the Muslims um, that we have uh, war with Iran. Um, from um, uh, the Illuminati standpoint, uh, the eye on top of the pyramid, um, if you don't know that, just look on a dollar bill. It's absolutely vital um, to bring in the um, total rule of the uh, Zionist Rothschild Satanists. And as far as I know, the Iranians are one of the few people who've got souls. Um, the, uh, the West Westerners are basically soulless, and they worship um, a proper god that doesn't uh, preach total genocide of other races. Um, so, of course, um, one can see there's a massive occult agenda, and of course, sinking um, the enterprise, which of course um, is uh, for the most normal uh, Bolshevik Americans uh, um, uh, is um, synonymous with the Starship Enterprise, um, has to be um, um, a prime candidate for, um, you know, a dreadful um, Gulf of Tonkin-type um, It really is. Uh, and remember, they're going to retire the uh, ship next year, well, so uh, you're right. What better way to retire it than sinking it and blaming it on the Iranians? Yeah. Remember the term, the word Zionist, didn't actually come into popular usage until yeah, 18, the late 1880s. Albert Pike wrote this letter I'm going to quote from now, August 15th, 1871. And the letter graphically outlines plans for three world wars that were seen as necessary to bring about the one world order. All right? Now, I've read this letter before. It's on my website. If you just look a, look in the search engine on rinse.com and type in Pike's letter, you'll see it. Here's what he said about the Third World War. This was written in 1871, all right, six years after the Civil War ended in the U.S. He said, The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the Asian tour of the Illuminati, in other words, their agents, between the political Zionists, 
There's that word before it was even used. The political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, we can add the United States to that, I think, mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on the issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economic exhaustion. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction. Anxious for an ideal but without knowing where to render its adoration will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer brought finally out in the public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. End of quote. Yeah, so you, you can see if you're going to um, exterminate uh, Christianity, um, it's exterminated in, in the West. So the only Christians in the world are the Orthodox churches. So the Greeks are in the process of being uh, destroyed um, economically. So it's all planned. Uh, world War Three is one giant um, far future uh, occult Illuminati. Call it what you want. Technology, um, which of course, once it's completed, will bring in the complete dominion of the Rothschilds, who understands this technology and the Illuminati. So you can actually see that all of this, uh, the carriers moving into the Gulf, the sanctions on Iran, um, has um, not um, a short-term um, uh, end the Muslim threat to Israel, but in fact is the final end of uh, humanity as a free-thinking um, uh, independent entity and the total culmination of the um, Illuminati plan to put them as uh, slaves uh, in the slave field uh, in a reality which is totally controlled and is actually artificially made by the destruction of the souls um, of people with souls. 